Hi guys, uh, it's EGC here. So as you can see here, uh, I did get the gate ruler uh, test deck printed. So well, they are all on paper. So I actually need to find some cards that's behind to do it. At which I have some Dragon Ball cards. So I just put it like that. Uh, I did try to play with the test deck at the store because the store owner also get it printed. So I get a chance to actually play it which uh, of course actually get the chance to know how the game works and because we got the rules reviewed uh, part of them um, which still there are quite a lot of rules that are not uh, revealed yet and we get to try like different worlds what they can do uh, some of the uh, gimmicks like the instant uh, counter overdrive uh, touchdown, all these kind of things, and actually how we uh, feel different with different rulers. Uh, what we can do with different rulers is different. So what even with the same card contents, what we feel is actually different. And since part of part of the game can be like very black sack, which suddenly. You just turn, flip the table around and sometimes actually with energy you can uh, have a better flow of the game yeah so uh, let's also talk about the rules here so let's switch to the website here so this is their uh, official website so now they do have a, a how to play section on the website and uh, if you go to gate realize I think you can find the English translated version but I'll use the Japanese one just for me to easier read and if you do want a full page of English version and want to like maybe print it out or something go to gate realize and you can find it uh, so the first they do have a uh, like example explaining how the uh, world master alpha is doing but uh, i'm not going to play this video if you do want to you can just watch it and what they talk about is a few things one card types so uh we do have five card types for now uh two of them you won't put in the deck which is ruler and energy which we can talk about it bit by bit afterwards like here and then what you will put into the deck is uh, unit, events, and field. For now, uh, we don't actually know too much about field, so maybe we can see it more from the rules behind. So let's talk about ruler. Ruler uh, is, of course, your avatar and uh, determining how you play the game. For example, for uh, World Master Alpha here, it tells you what you need to prepare for the game. You don't need to prepare anything. You you, do, you have no hands, you have no energy. When your turn starts, you drive to rule. Uh, you don't need to consider the cost, card cost, because you don't have energy and you don't have any hands. So what you do for drive is it's a two drive so you take the top two cards of the deck together not one by one because uh, when I do testing uh, today some of the people actually uh, confused and also make me a little bit confused so we do it like one by one but actually we pick up two cards and then we design uh, decide what we want to do for example if it's an event we can set it on the set area if it is a uh, unit, then we can place it on attack area or defense area. And if you want to know more about that, you can go back to my previous video, which I will have a link in the description below. Then you can find it. Okay, so that's uh, basically what you need to know about ruler. But there also is another thing. Uh, for the rulers, ru play rule. Uh, how you build a deck and such you will actually need to scan the QR code and go to the ruler page but 
you also don't need to scan the QR code because I will also show you how you can find this information but uh, do note that some of the rulers they exist which I will show you in a pack very soon uh, which I think is the apprentice so it's one of their uh, ruler new ruler introduced in the live stream uh, by Mr. Ikechi himself so <clears throat> that one if you I try to scan the QR code and it leads me to a 404 so the page is not there yet okay so uh, let's talk about ruler rules later in uh, energy so this is only for specific uh, rulers they will also tell you uh, when you need to prepare a game how many energies you need to have so if you say zero energy then you don't even need to take that card so it is a, some kind of a special card but uh, to make it a little bit easier for you it can be any card that you just slot in in the energy area so it, it can be any whatever card game card that you have but they do have the energy card design so you if you get the starter you probably will have the energy and I do think they should have uh, energy in booster but that is not known yet so if you really don't have energy just uh, take whatever card you have so now let's talk about what uh, cards you can use in the deck first one is unit so you have three areas to call units at for now which is the defense area which is above your ruler and left and right you get an attack area so uh, for more details about unit card you can also uh, get back to my previous video uh, that already explained that uh, events uh, something that you set on the uh, event area and you can use it depending on the timing if it's instant you can use it anytime and like any point that you can do like change in Yu-Gi-Oh or like any moment your opponents do anything then you can use your instant or when you do anything you can do, use instant something like that and then once you use them they will go to drop and there are like so many uh, different events activating at different timing like when you are being attacked or anything then you need to read that card and know when you should open it yeah so that basically is events in a field uh, so it's like a uh, permanent effect will always be activated if you place place it on a field zone and uh, so far it didn't create any uh, limits that you can put a field so you can put like if you have six field cards you can just put six on a field area for now uh, yeah so not like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! we can only have one field card uh, but how important those fields are going to tell you that's something that we still need to uh, still need to see so in here they do have a field card here but unfortunately the worst is a little bit too small so uh, Okay, so it says uh, the damage that you're going to deal to your opponent's unit will plus one. So, just something simple. It could be something deep, uh, something very difficult to read or something later. But for now, that's all we have. Next, talking about how you win or lose the game. Win the game, easiest way: get your opponent's ruler life to zero. Very easy. Second one to make the deck to zero. So so far we don't have anything about uh, deck milling so uh, I don't think we need to care about that too much now let's talk about what you need to prepare for the game of course you need to have your ruler you need to uh, shuffle your deck get your game preparations uh, do whatever uh, preparations you say with your ruler but for this uh, world master alpha uh, you say nothing because you don't have hand you don't have energy and then you just use your whatever uh, ways to determine who go first or second uh, rock paper scissors rolling a dice to see who is bigger or odd or even anything you like so let's talk about the game flow once you determine who go first then 
of course uh, first is a start step so you will uh, untap all your unit ruler and then uh, do your whatever rulers when their turn starts so for example uh, well master alpha is telling you to uh, drive to so that's what you do for example a uh, well master Beta is saying you uh, choose two energy and tap and draw two. That's what you do. Then you enter the main phase. Uh, play a unit, uh, play a event, uh, play your uh, card skill depending on what they have, and they go to attack phase. So main phase and attack phase is uh, separate. So once you get into attack phase, then next you will go to end phase. You won't go back to any main phase and you just attack with your unit and ruler and then depending on uh, what skill they have then they do something else and if you're going if you're first turn player you can only attack one time so basically it will just be a ruler swing unless you uh, have a very high strike unit then you probably will swing with that and then you go to end phase um, at end phase all the units uh, damage will be taken away and activate your uh, when your turn ends effects and then just keep repeating so what you can do in main phase they do tell you a little bit detail of course play unit play uh, events directly uh, set your event card uh, use whatever you just say I think it's normal so probably something that is not instant and you can move your unit uh, from different zones uh, so that you can uh, determine what your best formation is and just play from there and with attack you rest and select a unit to attack uh, so that's probably it and like taking damage I've already explained in my previous video so go go take a look at there uh, about strike I also explained it there events I also explain it there uh, then it's the gate system so it's the uh, instant so it can basically just use that most of the timing whenever someone is doing something if we are going to make it very uh, simple yeah so like when it's set you can use it anytime so they probably will need to give you a little bit more uh, ruling on how like any time means it's like for now what I understand is uh, usually when someone is trying to do something then you can use the instant but there are also a timing that when your opponent say enter and you suddenly say wait I am just flipping this instant card and do something that also works so it's still a little bit fake but we will actually see more when we uh, have more cards and then about set card uh, just putting it face down and you probably can just set an uh, event for now but maybe later we can set something else yeah so that's basically all and let's also talk about the rulers rule so this is the, another page about rulers rule and they will keep updating so what you can see is uh, some basics that you can see on the card which is when you prepare the game you don't need to prepare anything no hands no energy when your turn starts drive to uh, rules uh, you just pay cards cost as you already did pay the cost and you don't have hands and if you do take a look here my mouse actually did change so this is something that you can click on and it say details rulers rule so for example this uh well master alpha we can actually click it it brings you to another page which tells you how many attack zone you have how many defense zone you have how many set zone you have of course this is something that you already know this is something that you already know uh, and then this is uh, also something that you already know but if you look at this this tells you how you build your deck and this is something that is not written on the card 
So you actually need to know what your rule is, deck building rule, so you are not going to uh, like rule killing yourself, right? So for example, with uh, our well master alpha, what you can do is your deck level limit is 40. So you look at your unit cards, they do have different uh, level or cost, whatever you want to call. Uh, your events will also have your, their cost or uh, level that they have, and you can only put a total of 40. So as long as you reach 40, what you can keep putting is uh, cost zero. So you need to be very, very uh, careful on that. You have 50 deck space, and if you are only playing level 1 cards, you can put 40 of them and then put 10 uh, level zeros. But if you are using something bigger, then you need to put more zeros. And then, next, it is a counter limit to 16. So you can only use 16 cards max with CNT counter icon. So it's not like a deck that you can just chuck in all sorts of uh, crazy counters and just expecting you can just cancel the damage every single turn. That's not happening. And next, this is something that makes the game harder. It say for all nations that you can only put up to 12 cards into your deck. So you can't just pick uh, two of the nations, for example, Atlas and uh, Magical Universe, and say I'm going to put 25 cards each in there. No, you can only put 12. So you basically need to have cards for every, nearly every single nation, and just pick from there. Of course, 12 is the maximum. So you can just put one card from other worlds, other countries, uh, 12 cards from another, 12 cards from another, 12 cards from another. That's 37. And then you have 12 cards with another, which makes a uh, 49, and then you just put whatever one card in there to make your deck. That's possible, but uh, it really needs you to think a lot what you want to do because that's, there are cards that uh, don't have any uh, skills if you are using this uh, ruler because you won't play cards, you will drive them. So, something that you need to uh, take care. Uh, and then it did say uh, the collected code is MD or uh, 2020 cards, you can put them in your deck, probably have something like a rotation I guess, I don't know. And then uh, deck is a fit 50. And same thing card you can only use 4 and you can't use legend cards. Yeah, so that's basically one of the rules, and then they have uh, some example uh, videos for you to look at, but uh, I can actually show you a little bit how it works. Of course, no gameplay, because uh, when I test it, I don't have a chance to actually record it. Uh, the environment, in the moment, I just rather have no pressure and just play with it. Yeah, so that's another uh, test deck ruler, World Master Beta. So, this is not like the uh, Knight K11 that we saw. I think it's also the same pose, but now it's called a World Master Beta 2020. So, you have two hands, free energy. Uh, every turn when you start, untap two energy, draw two, and you can uh, do two up to two normal summons. Then, we also can take a look at the rule, which will probably be something similar because they are both from the test deck. So, of course, attack zone, defense zone, set zone, all this stuff you do know. But they also tell you here, usually it just say uh, draw two cards, which are also on the card itself. It just say uh, draw two cards and attack two energy. But in here, they hidden a sentence here saying if you are going first uh, as a first time player, what you can draw is only one card. This is something that is not written on a card. So that's something that I feel like will confuse new players because they uh, really don't know about the rules. Um, then they really need to scan the QR code or, the, or their opponents will like, hey, it, you only can draw one and why? Let's just scan the QR code and check it. So 
that's is something that I'm a little bit confusing. I think they should actually add it uh, on the card itself, but it's a test deck, so maybe we can see it in the final product. I don't know. And deck level limit? No, nothing. Uh, counter 16, saying that you can only use 12 for lower uh, amount of cards from each nation. Uh, about the same code. 50 no legend card same name only four so yeah that's basically all the rules that you need to know uh, of course if you have any other questions feel free to keep asking me and let's switch it back to this, this uh, screen here so I do have my test stacks and uh, I can just flip myself if I want to use the alpha or the beta because all the contents is the same so every single uh, set of cards the test text, paper, PDF will contain uh, two other rulers uh, free energy but I didn't cut it because uh, if I want it I can just use any card doesn't matter and then it do have like almost four copy of different cards and you can see for example this card have a touchdown and a overdrive so for both of the rulers you can somehow get the effects off because uh, let's also talk about quickly about some special skills touchdown is when you play this card from hand onto the field OD overdrive is when you drive the card on the field so all or basically just drive the cards out then you can use the OD in uh, CNT is when you take a damage you first reveal the top uh, card of the deck and if you got a CNT usually uh, the card will just go to the uh, cemetery drop area whatever you call it. then the ca uh, damage is cancelled but if you are taking 2 damage and the first one is counter, it won't cancel the next damage, you still need to check and if it is another counter, uh, then you can also get that off but uh, most of the counters, they do have some other effects for example, this counter can use their uh, overdrive effects uh, this counter is just basically play the card and then of course once the effect is gone, the CNT effect is done, they will go to drop. Yeah, and then there's uh, some other uh, like attacking uh, effects. Uh, there are some uh, instant timing, or like when this card is set and being destroyed, then it got some uh, effects going off. There are some like. Uh, this kind of scale when uh, attack step ends, you move from attack zone to defense zone, so you can uh, kind of protect yourself a lot easier. Yeah, so that's basically the test deck. And once you print it out, basically we print two set like what I do, then you can just basically switch the rulers around with the same content and play it. So talking about my own thoughts I do feel like uh, there's quite a lot of things that are still kind of fake and uh, the effects is kind of simple but it's a text deck so you don't expect too much and cards from the actual set post starter and booster is quite amazing and just by playing with the two rulers in the and the test deck content I can already feel the same card content with the, a different ruler the way you play will be very different so for example if we are using alpha then uh, since every time we only get like two cards to actually use and with the test deck that's quite a some units that only have touchdown skills so when you drive them you play them on the field and they got no effects but again this is a test deck so you can't expect too much but when you build your own decks then you not use any touchdown you only use overdrive and, or even just vanillas 
and that will change the game a lot and depending on how many uh, cards per each country you can use it can also be very very different uh, I use actually Alpha today and I can win some games I lose some games uh, sometimes I feel myself helpless sometimes I feel myself very very strong and there are also like moments that I my friend told me that they for example caught two dragons on the field and they suddenly just ruins how the other players uh, play because they are using Vader and they can only uh, normal summon two cards and you don't have any special summon in the test deck yet and basically they call some two stuff and they just got burned every single turn yeah so that can happen and we still have quite a lot of rulers that uh, we are going to uh, see which are, again for example apprentice which is basically like alpha and I will show you a pack again here uh, but we uh, have not been told about the rules yet because we only see part of this and we still need to scan the QR code or go to the website in order to find it but for now we don't know anything and it seems like it is a ruler with only two countries limitations and then something that's very similar to Alpha but that we still need to wait yeah so uh, I think that's it I need to talk about today if you want to uh, ask me more questions about the test tags, about the rules, feel free to comment in uh, down below uh, and if I see it I will answer them of course in uh, again I will also link my uh, previous videos so that you can go back there and see what I've already explained which help probably help you uh, learn the game a lot easier yeah so just keep the hopes up uh, keep waiting and if uh, the shops that I go wants to print a little bit more stuff to play with then I probably will join them and maybe see if I can take some fight videos as well but that's all for me today thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video signing off